March Madness is here and debatably one of the least productive days of the year at work for some. Of course, not the 10 sports team who's been busy catching up with our teams in the NCAA tournament. John Apicello and Eric Johnson are both out on location. Eric is in Columbia, South Carolina covering Virginia and sports director John Apicello is covering Virginia Tech and Liberty in San Jose, California. And Abby, we'll start with you. And since you're three hours behind us, the teams haven't even hit the court yet. Well, that's exactly right, Alyssa. The day is just getting started for the East Region teams here in San Jose. But I can tell you the four South Region teams that are also competing here have already gotten some serious floor time. So let's get you out to the SAP Center, and I'll show you that it holds 18,500 for basketball. And it does have a history of March Madness. It hosted the regional final back in 2017. We'll We'll get a look at Oregon, the 12 seed in that South region, getting in some work today. Uh, one of those four teams in the South, also UC Irvine, they're the 13th seed. The Mighty Ant Eaters going to take on uh, Kansas State, the four seed. Now, one of those teams will advance to Louisville and face UVA if the Cavs advance. So, Virginia fans, keep that in mind. The winner of this little foursome coming out is going to get to Louisville, and you may see one of them again. All right, coming up now, Mississippi State scheduled to hit the floor, and they're doing it right now behind me as I speak. Virginia Tech, Liberty to follow, and when Virginia Tech gets out here, I don't need to tell you, all eyes are on Justin Robinson. He is, of course, returning from that foot injury after a 12-game absence. His ability to contribute is key for the Hokies if they want to make an NCAA run. We'll show you all of that coming up tonight at 11. But for now, from San Jose, I'm John Apicello, 10 Sports. Back to you. All right, thank you, Abby. Eric Johnson still standing by and was at UVA's practice earlier today. And, Eric, it seems that the Hoos are learning from last year's first-round loss. Alyssa, UVA certainly is. They know they can't erase history, but they can give us something else to remember. And that's the message that they sent as they look ahead to their matchup with Gardner-Webb coming up tomorrow. That was something that we, you know, we've talked about as a team and certainly have, have dealt with it. And we've said we've owned that. And, um, and I think that's, you know, just use it in the right way. You don't stay in it forever, but you grow from all those things, but especially that and then attack this year. The Cavaliers will have an added weapon this year that will be a difference maker in DeAndre Hunter, who missed the 2018 tournament, but has played a big role this season, averaging 15 points per contest. Might be the most versatile guy in the tournament. Um, can guard one through five almost. Um, can get a bucket when, when, you, when you need one. Isolation, offensive rebound, knockdown, catch and shoot shots. So does everything. I'm just excited uh, for myself and more for the team. Uh, just to get back to the stage and have the same opportunity as last year to play against a 16th seed and possibly erase what happened last year, but people are going to still remember, but we have another opportunity to do something really special in this tournament. On the other side of the court, confidence is the one word that resonates with the running Bulldogs. They have two wins over ACC teams this year as they went from being underdogs to the top dog in the Big South to reach their first NCAA tournament. Being Wake and Georgia Tech definitely uh, let us know that we're we're capable of doing big things. Let's go have some fun. I mean, we got to be detailed and and in our in our plan, but uh, offensively, I mean, we're going to be playing against one of the best defenses in the nation on a huge stage. Let's just go out and let it fly. I mean. Tip off coming up around 3 p.m. tomorrow here in Columbia. For now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Eric, and of course, we'll have more on the NCAA tournament coming up tonight at 11. Mm -hmm.